it's all about. This is the first time I've ever had French onion soup. It's really, really f***ing good. Putting yourself in this situation, it's not an easy task. It's a huge opportunity to study abroad. You get to see how another part of the world lives. You're in France and you're, you're here to learn French. The classes that we take for the first half are 100% taught in French, which makes you know, life outside of the classroom easier. I felt myself actually using what I was learning on the same day, which is like a really cool feeling. Uh, an origin for moi, s'il vous plaît? Moi, uh, je prends le soup à la onion gratiné. Half of the semester has been classes, and then the other half of the semester, which I'm in now, is the internship. You sort of choose a sector. You know, I want like an art history internship, or I want like a business internship. I work with the Association de la Presse Étrangère, which is an association for foreign journalists. I've actually met a lot of journalists from all over the world, I have an internship at a gallery. It is in the Marais, which is sort of like the arts district. Working in a contemporary gallery, you see what's going on now. You see what like the current artists are working on. French business is a lot more relaxed. I mean, I certainly don't make an effort to show up late to work, but I mean, like, there's not really anybody there monitoring you all the time. Like, did you come in at this hour? But they do, you know, they give you deadlines and they expect you to get your work done. Getting used to the atmosphere of how people act. Like in the metro, you can't make eye contact, but like above ground, people stare. Smiles are weird. Like people freak out when you smile. They don't know what to do with you when you smile. Getting adjusted to eating habits, like going out to a restaurant or sitting down at a cafe for two hours every time you want to eat a meal. It looks so good. Yeah. Everything looks so good. The food is really good. There are a lot of pastries, a lot of bread places. Bread is huge here. Un pain au chocolat, s'il vous plaît. Au revoir, merci. Paris has a definite presence that is apparent anywhere you go. I'm walking down the Champs Elysees and I'm seeing, you know, just all these people. I, you know, I look back and there's the Arc de Triomphe. I find myself stopping and just taking it in for a couple of minutes each day. Paris is beautiful at night. It really is the city of lights. Everything is lit up. There are a lot of places to go out at night, which is really great. Just like chill bars and cafes. You just go and get a bottle of wine. It's a big part of the culture here. Wine in general and I mean alcohol in general. It's yeah. nice because you forget that you were at one point not allowed. It's such like a normal thing here that People, I feel like, are much more educated about how to like drink safely. A lot of people think when you go to a big city, it's going to be really kind of cutthroat, really cold people. Most French people I've met have been really nice, especially young people. One of the ways that I've met French people is trying to go to events in Paris where you'll meet French people that have the same interests as you. Some of our friends, they hang out with French people almost every weekend. Once I started kind of getting more into the groove of really living here, I definitely opened up more. Seeing another part of the world for an extended period of time and really living there gives you a broader view of the fact that people are different. People are different everywhere you go. You're not going to become French or German or Spanish, you know, just by being here for four months, but you'll definitely learn something about yourself and what it means to be an American in the world today.